of any stamps and today I just wanted to show you our brand new scenescapes six new designs in total printed on 220 gram card they're just a quick way of making a card something for when you haven't got time or you're just faced with a blank piece of paper sometimes and you just don't know where to begin well these are perfect for a situation like that you can stamp straight onto it mount it on a card and it's done as quick as anything I'm going to put those to the side I think we're going to be using our lovely fox so I'm using Versafine Claire, this is Nocturne and I think this stamps really well on the card. And let's just pop him down at the bottom there like so. And I give that a good press, again just allow that ink to soak into the card. And there we go, and he stamped so well. Let's take one of our trees. And let's pop that over here. got our lovely blossom branch as well. So again I'm using the Nocturne for this. again and this time I'm taking off so it's a slightly lighter stamped image and again take off and let's pop that there and we'll do one more down the side here Maybe one more in the gaps there. So we've got our lovely owl in flight. So inking him up. And I'm going to pop him just in the moon on a slight angle like so. So taking one of our stencil brushes now and I've got warm breeze I'm just going to bring in a little bit of colour And a little bit down here as well. And you can see how that lovely blue has just peeped through those colours over the top. I'm going to take one of our smaller flourishes and I'm going to ink up again in Warm Breeze and I'm just going to add a little bit of foliage and it 
just works so well over the top. So we've got some Posca pens here. I'm going to just pop a little bit of colour around. I think we're going to colour these lovely little blossom flowers. You can embellish this as much as you want and it really does pull that those flowers out. And let's just take some of the red as well and put a few little dots down here. And then this is our white uniball and I'm going to just highlight the tree a little. So all we're doing is following those vines that are wrapping themselves around the tree. So lastly, I'm going to add a touch of glitter. Let's go with the mermaid blue. So all I'm going to do is put a few little dots down at the bottom. And I'm literally just going to add just a sprinkle. I only want a tiny amount. So you can see how quick and easy that was to make. And it looks really effective. Thanks so much for watching guys, you take care and we'll see you real soon, bye for now.